Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs. Uh, today with the second part of how to suppress unwanted oscillations, this time with a so-called snubber. I uh, will come to that later, but before some clarifications and corrections to what I said in the first episode. Uh, first of all, if you remember, I was wondering why LT Spice, although I gave a simulation time of um, or an on, on switch on time of 100 microseconds why it was in the simulation in fact 120 microseconds well the reason is uh, LT Spice defaults um, s square waves just go into that if you put uh, the rise and the full time to zero the default value then LT Spice does not use this, but it adds, I think, 10 or 20 uh, microseconds. So if we change this to 5 nanoseconds each, which is about the rise and fall time of the MOSFET and of um, the square signal, then let's see what we get now and now we're exactly at 100 microseconds so this was not kind of a an error in LT Spice but you just have to know to which values uh, LT Spice defaults if you don't um, if you leave the the default values at zero then they are not truly zero as you could see they were 10 or 20 microseconds so that was the first thing um, where I was wondering about Second is, um, if you look at, we had this strange behavior that the inductor current was positive, but the current through the MOSFET was negative, although both should be uh, positive, of course. And that's if you go um, with, the, with the current symbol. If you're in the simulation and you choose uh, the, the, the curves you want to display, then you have this little probe here for voltages and you have this little current probe and now take a look it's either black then the current goes uh, goes negative or it is red and then it goes positive so I, I don't know how to change this anyway you should note this and if it's red you even have a little error in which direction the current is displayed let's see if we see this not a error an arrow and in the black version yeah you don't have I don't see the arrow um, so you just have to watch out this if you have a black symbol or a, re a, re a red arrow uh, indicating the the direction of the current that is displayed and uh, I made a little error in explaining the abbreviation back EMF. Uh, it was not, um, the EMF is not electromagnetic force, but electromotive force. And even the, the correct uh, designation would be counter electromotive force. Uh, but it's better known as back EMF. EMF as you can see here also known as the back electromotive force and the last thing I did wrong was the German translation is not counter induction it's self induction so the counter induction is something uh, different it's self induction so that that will be it for some little cr clarifications to the last episode and now let's come to another way to suppress unwanted oscillations and that is what is in the US best known as a snubber and I've already prepared something no it didn't keep that up so if we replace the diode with a capacitor just fits nicely then we have an, an RC series combination and this RC series combination comes under different names. In the US it's basically known as snubber but also and more well known in German it's a, a Boucherot cell 
or Sobel network. That's, that's more often used in German, but as you can see from the English Wikipedia, um, this is also used in English. And um, now a snubber here, it's, it just is, uh, w w when it's explained, it's just for our purpose, when a switch opens or closes, and in fact our switch is, is the MOSFET, and we in fact in our power inductor check checker do have a snubber in parallel to our MOSFET. But now we'll try if we get away with the unwanted oscillation from our inductor, if we place uh, a snubber also parallel to our to our inductor and just to remember here these three components L1, R1 and C1 they are all parts of the inductor so this is one element uh, it's just the parasitic uh, components the series resistance and the parallel capacitance of our inductor and this here R2 and C2 are the, the external elements of our snubber uh, oscillation suppression network. So let's give this just let's the question now is um, we don't have a fixed inductor value the the, uh, um, the power inductor checker is used to check many uh, values from let's say 10 nano Henry's up to 1 Henry and so we'll try out if a, a snubber with a fixed um, f with fixed values of the components can suppress the oscillations and we'll, f we'll just start with, uh, with some chance values. Let's give the resistor a value of 10 ohms and the snubber capacitor a value of 100 nanofarad and let's do our simulation. Um, but first of all again just to make sure we have to delete all traces for not by chance getting the wrong notes uh, because as I told you last time every time you change a component or add a component or delete a component it might be that the numbering of the notes is uh, changing so we want to know again the current through our MOSFET which flows down here also through our not shown shunt resistor and uh, so here we have our current measuring then we want to know the current through our inductor which uh, by the way here this peak is also present in fact in the real world circuit of our power inductor checker and this is quite helpful just for triggering the oscilloscope and we want to see if the current through that we measure here through our MOSFET is identically to our the current through our uh, inductor under test. Yes, it looks so. Here we already can see a little wiggle, a little oscillation. And let's still check the voltage here. And here we can see the unwanted oscillation a bit clearer, but it already dampens out quite quickly. Uh, so uh, the chance choice that we made for our uh, components, for our snubber, uh, was already quite near optimum. Let's just change this to 100 ohm and see if it gets better. And well, that's nearly perfect. That looks like a critical damping. So our, uh, uh, we get an, a very good suppression of, uh, of the unwanted on oscillation, but we still have the back EMF of 27 volts. Well, there was also the question, why is it 27 volts? Well, if you go into the theory, the, the height uh, of, the, of the back EMF depends on the choice of your components especially L1 and R1 and of course your external uh, voltage. Uh, so this is also component dependent and as I told you this can reach with uh, bigger inductors or higher inductances uh, this can go up to hundreds of volts. 
So we again have the fact we get a good oscillation suppression, but we have we don't get away with our back EMF. So now let's change uh, this still to a higher value without any hope that it gets any better. Let's take 10k just to see what happens. And of course, now we get nearly no suppression of the oscillation um, because the the inductor can resonate resonate nearly free, freely with its self-resonant frequency. So going above 100 ohm was not a good idea. Let's go the other way. 1 ohm. And see what we get now. And with 1 ohm we still have our back EMF of 27 volts. Uh, but again we have now an even longer oscillation and the reason is the same as in the first episode. Now we have an overdamped uh, circuit. So um, 100 ohms, was it 100? Was uh, nearly the best value for suppressing the oscillation but we don't get away with the back EMF. So in our application a snubber is okay here in parallel to the drain source, drain and source of our MOSFET where it is really placed also in our power inductor checker. Uh, it's also good for suppressing unwanted oscillation but we don't get away with the back EMF and so the, the combination we had last time with uh, a um, there's another addition a freewheeling diode is the same as a flyback diode. That's only just another expression uh, for the same thing. So the combination of a series resistor in the right value 10 ohms something around that and a high voltage high peak current freewheeling diode like an 1N4007 that gave the best compromise between uh, suppressing uh, the back EMF and suppressing the oscillation, but a snubber doesn't work properly. Well, it, it works for suppressing the oscillation, but it does not work in any way to suppress the back EMF. But th there are many applications for snubber networks or snubbers, uh, and we'll discuss a totally different application now and that I already mentioned this in the first episode when it comes to high-speed digital logic and uh, therefore we go back to the drawing board and let's take a first take a look at how the output and the input of a uh, digital CMOS stage is looking and where the problems could arise from.